Boom. What's up, people? GSC introductions always. Jamie C here. Um, just watching somebody play a grab machine at the arcade there for a moment. This is Counter Spy, as you would have seen from the title popping up there. This is the intro to Counter Spy. Um, let's enjoy this for a minute because that's a team of blue, apparently, and that's a team of red. Um, Counter Spy is going to do what it says on the tin. You're going to work between between the lines, behind the lines, doing your James Bond stuff. Um, and from what I've seen of the intro, enjoying maybe a bit of Archer as well from this bit here. This is definitely Archer. If you don't get that vibe, I don't know what's up. Uh, but yeah, Counter Spy, it's a game from Dynamite, a uh, studio founded in 2011. I think the thing that drew me into this game was seeing Mark Holmes' name on, the, on there. Uh, Mark Holmes worked at Pixar for 16 years and did a lot of the art for them across films like Wally -E and uh, and the Incredibles, but yeah, so I'm just going to jump into a game, um, pause this and read this if you want, you'll probably find like, I skip a lot of these, uh, these on-screen prompts, you know, I'm not too bothered about it, I'll go back and read it, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, like I said, just skip through them if you want, but let's, um, let's start the game from the beginning. Yeah, I'm not really leaving enough time for anybody to read this, but no, like I said, pause it. Read it, play it. This is the important thing, is I want people to play this game. Um, I've enjoyed it. It's It's got replay value, go back to it. You're not gonna get everything done in your first playthrough. But, uh, but this is it, you start off the game here. Uh, you see across the top, I've obviously got my amu ammunition, ammo, uh, and you see the three in the middle, so that's my DEF CON level at the moment. Um, the game ranges between DEFCON 1, when things are really fucking shit hitting the fan, and DEFCON 5, where things are at like the lowest alert level possible. And as you progress through the game, you'll see this icon here now showing me there are guards about. If I'm spotted by guards, if I'm spotted by cameras, then my DEFCON level will raise because they will radio through, and you'll see that later on in the game as well. Um, I probably should be telling you about these prompts here at the moment, but it's just literally L1 and R1 standard aiming practice there. Um, yeah, at the moment I haven't... This is the first playthrough, so I haven't got the option for a silenced pistol to begin with, so by killing one, I'm going to alert the other without a doubt. Uh, but as the game progresses, you'll be able to buy more weapons, and later on you'll see I do purchase the silenced pistol. And what you see there is it's the launch plans, and this is what the game is really reliant on. You're sneaking through these bases to find the launch plans um, or the schematics or whatever you want to call them, blueprints. But with every level there'll be the option to invade the American or the Russian. don't think they can call it Russian but it's definitely in Russia. And um, there are different values to do in one or the other each round. Um, so this is just a starting mission. I didn't have any choice. But that's two of the launch plans. Some levels might only have one launch plan, uh, but then you might be rewarded for doing that level over the other one because it might have more blueprints for weapons and so on. Here you're seeing the the icon I was referring to earlier, so that the enemies will radio through when they know there's a spy in the building. I stupidly tried to aim my gun through the gap that wasn't there to have, so I go down and just have him with a silent takedown. Was just telling you what I was saying earlier, your DEFCON level will raise, and in doing that, it alerts more guards and brings about a harder job for you to finish your your levels. Here you see the, the agent cracking into the safe. Now, you'll find, and you'll see in the video later on as well, but doing that when there are enemies still in the prox in close proximity, it will alert them. Be careful. Now, you see, I take my time and I take out these cameras, but as you progress, you find they're not actually too bad, and they do have a pattern to them, and they're quite easy to get around. Uh, if you're dead, yeah, and I, for some reason, I have a habit of jumping instead of pressing the correct button. But hey, you'll, as the game goes on, right? Never shoot an officer when he's the only enemy remaining. He will surrender. Um, 
This time it works. Keep an eye on this though, because this time it works and it lowers my DEF CON, but later on, when I come face to face with another officer on his own, I try to aim my gun at him and it does nothing, so keep an eye out for that. Tell me what I'm doing wrong, if you've played it. Definitely tell me what I'm doing wrong. And yeah, if you carry along across the top then, you see the the, the, the little rectangle icons that go across. It has just that square by square map grid going on. And so now we've just gone down to the one place that you can go down. And it's, it's as simple as that. The maps, the levels are randomly generated, so you won't have the same level again. If I start the game again, I won't have the same levels. They're all randomly generated. But, um, which was a cool feature. I think that's a really good thing to have in there. Just you know, it shows that you, another reason, like I said, to have that replay value, it backs that up as well. So I'm not going to get through the same linear level every time. To, yeah, I suck. I don't know why I did that. This is what I was telling you, though. He was the only one on his own. I got confused thinking that he was, like, it counted as the officer, but obviously not. He's just a normal guard. You have to have those guys in the white. And I do come face to face with one of those later on. That's what I was referring to. Not this guy here. But this guy here, that's what I've done. I thought I had a, a case for just going up against him one on one. Uh, formulas in Heart Shield Spy's ability. So you see, I've got the one formula page for the level here, and that's unlocked endurance. So in between levels, you have the option to go in and using the money you've collected, uh, pay to use these formulas. So for example, that endurance there, if I start the next mission with that enabled, I could have like 50% more resilience against certain weapons. I think I was, yeah, taking my time to see if that guard appeared on his own. And then, like, take all three of them out together, if it worked. There we go. Boom. Enjoy it. As the guy goes flying through the wall, I might add. And I did it again, that like, jumping when I was supposed to press something else. You'll find a lot of these little hidden nooks and crannies throughout the game. Now, they don't show up on the map, as I was saying earlier, that when I went in the elevator, it had the bar to show me there was a place below. But this is a secret, so it doesn't show up on the map. So keep an eye out for this sort of thing as well. And you see, like, I've got one of two formula for the next... Uh, two pages for the next formula, sorry. So it's not set within a level. It's not like that certain formula can only be unlocked within that level. It, it just adds on. It progresses. If I get three of four but then the next level I get three when I only needed two, it might be, it, it'll add that last one to the previous formula and then it'll create the next one as well, so it just keeps going. I will make mistakes like that throughout. <laughs> A lot of the complaints about this game have been about the control, but when, when you break it down, it's a very simple uh, an easy to work thing. Uh, yes, I keep pressing jump instead of triangle, but that's me. It's just probably from the games I've been playing prior to this, in close proximity to this. But um, but yeah, so it's it's simple. You're, you're just moving across a grid. You go into cover, and then that gives you the the sort of surround. But when you're just on a plane like this, you see my character moving left to right like this. If you aim now, you you don't. You can only aim up and down, and that it simplifies everything. But going into cover really does help you. But here you go, look, yeah. So there's the officer, and he carried on trying to shoot at me. I, I don't know. I'll go back and try again. But I'm confused, basically. So tell me what I'm doing wrong if you've played it. No, I can't teabag him, basically. I don't know why that was a thought going through my head, but it was. Of course, it was. And here you see that I've got to the final launch console, and that's the end of the mission. Um, if I was talking about earlier the DEFCON level, if the DEFCON had raised to one, it would begin a launch sequence. So they would obviously think it was the, the opposing nation trying to invade or whatever with their spy. So they would initiate the launch. 
and then to get to the ending you have to quickly run there and finish the mission otherwise they will launch and that will be game over for you but right here you see yes so i can infiltrate the socialists and infiltrate imperialists and you'll see the difference in launch plans two over here four on the other side but going for these two launch plans i could have the four formulas or going for the four launch plans on the other side i could have the money as well so it's really how you want to weigh it up and what you think will be the bonus for you at that time just yeah just something there as well again talking about the replay value it's saying that any any guns you purchase now any formulas you purchase now you've well you unlock them sorry and then they'll be unlocked in your next playthrough you'd still have to pay for them in the next playthrough but if i unlock them in this go when i come back to starting again those guns would be available in the shop immediately and those formulas would be available immediately and that's great if you're going to choose to play again that you might want to put the difficulty level up and again that will just help massively that there yeah the silence pistol you need that you can't go without that to be honest um, it's this one here persuasion that once i unlock that later i do use quite a lot because persuasion will knock the defcon down by one level when you start a mission so it's a bit pricey at 750 but for every mission i was starting i was bringing the defcon down to five and then if you play well you shouldn't really see that raise up too much but if it does you're giving yourself a cushion you're giving yourself that room to allow it apparently i'm authorized to use the directional buttons to change weapons but that literally it does what it says on the tin there then so d-pad is your your weapons you can have four weapons once you purchase them i think throughout this playthrough i heavily use the this one here the diplomat silence pistol and then later on in the game i use the the automatic rifle quite a lot but um it wasn't really until late on in the game that when i unlocked the shotgun i had a bit of fun with that You see the difference now having the silence pistol, it makes a massive difference, obviously. Um, in that, I was able to manipulate that room without moving. And there we go, yeah, persuasion unlocked, definitely use that. This is something I like about the game as well. You see how the enemy has just come to the foreground there from uh, an area that's unplayable for myself, so. You'll find that as well. You'll find cover might sometimes have the level go deeper rather than just left to right. It gives it that depth. It lets you go. It lets you shoot to enemies in an otherwise unreachable area. I suck. I absolutely suck. You'll find, I'm not sure if it's in this video, but I think it's later on in the game. I managed to pull off just five perfect headshots in a row all in the same room without alerting I like any of them to it uh, it may be in a later video and I'll have to highlight it again later on but, um, it shows how my skills come a long way as the videos go on and, uh, I won't let that be a, a like uh, a marker on my skill levels for how shit that was just then there is there is a trophy for taking 10 silent kills within one level. So it's looking at things like that. There I could have shot the camera out above him and then snuck up behind him and taken him out. And I do it later on in, I think in my second playthrough of the game, I think I just saw there was a trophy and decided to go back. But um, yeah, that's something you can do as well. There is also a trophy that's basically impossible. And I see that only a very small percentage of people have done it so far. It's to get through the whole level without alerting a single guard. So if somebody's done that, I'm going to be looking to have a look at that and see what's going on. Obviously, I can't... I say levels are randomly generated, so there's no way anybody could create some sort of playthrough for you in this game and say, here's how you do this, because I'll go into it and I might try it as well, and it would be a completely different layout. So there's no point attempting it, but it would be good to see. But 
that guy is fucked. Look. That will happen a lot throughout the game. I'm not going to let it be a bad mark on the game. I'm not going to let it disappoint me at all. Just seeing these characters hanging through the screens like this, it's not a massive problem. Just laugh at it and just see past it. Why is he popping? I don't think I really paid attention to that when I was playing it, but there was no ground underneath him then when he popped out to the side. It's important there, as you see, take out the guard before you attempt the formula, even if you think you had enough time for him walking away, because, like I said, you you will blow it up to get into it, so it's going to alert him if he's around. Where is he? And that's a prime example there as well of what I was talking about earlier with the, the enemies being in the background, and letting them come to you in the foreground as well. I was able to take him down without alerting the other guard, but it's nice. It adds that depth to a game that's otherwise just left to right. I think that may have taken out a guard, I'm not sure. I don't know how it didn't alert that one though. He's right above it, never mind. Right, so you see the end of the level there, but I know I've got other stuff or other places that I haven't quite explored, so it's worth just having having a look. You can see there's another guard, so I know for a fact I haven't been everywhere in the level yet. Similar to the air vents below, you'll find a lot of these high climb beams as well. I seem to have missed a lot then, if I've only got one launch plan there. I think just playing this early stage in my game, I probably wasn't too fussed and probably didn't really pay attention to the fact I missed a launch plan, but you'll see when you do complete launch plans, that's what will get you to the final mission. The, once you've got every single launch plan you need, it will, it will give you the option to go do the final mission. You can continue to play between the two areas, um, but it's. I think I got it done in 10 play days of this, 10 missions. And by then I had enough launch plans. Here you see I've unlocked one then. So I need five for the rocket schematics. And then I would get more. I would get the option to move on to the next one. And I say once they're all complete it's done. But yeah. Um, I think I just mess around now with the menu for a bit. But um, you see across the day two report on the bottom there. Just tells you what's going on. Um, I have... I have recorded the whole game on video and I'll look at probably trying to get a bit more of the game up but just for now I just wanted to highlight what you're really going to be doing in the game because I'm noticing that nobody's actually playing this on online at the moment. Nobody's picking this up, nobody's having a go and I think it's a massive shame because the game deserves at least an attempt at it, at least try it. It's not expensive, you will get a few hours gameplay out of it minimum and then if you're really into it you'll get the replay value that I keep talking about as well. It's one of those pick up and plays you could pick up a mission halfway through your playthrough and it doesn't matter because you're doing something simple but fun. It has that longevity and that factor there. It is fun. So I really just recommend it. I think everybody needs to go out and try it. And like I said, I'll try and get another video up soon if it if anybody's bothered by it. But but let's see. Alright, well thanks for watching.